brunch a la Chris this morning. He also has cinnamon rolls finishing up too, but cannot wait to dig in. Monday's Pilates check. Just finished my workout. If you're wondering my progress, it's getting there. This table's almost cleared out that I put all the Christmas decor on. This is already done. I'm actually selling or donating because I just have too much. And then that is all the Valentines that will get dispersed around the kitchen after I'm done. I've been kind of taking the Valentine's stuff out as I put away all the Christmas. It's a little crazy around here right now, but we're getting there. Having turkey chili for dinner and cornbread muffins. Don't mind the noise in the background, but look at this, you guys. Only the tr empty trees are still up. Everything else is packed away. So happy. So now I just had the Valentine's Day to get out and started in spring. And I wanted to show you my beautiful Lennox dishes. I love these. I actually, a long time ago when I purchased my first home, Yes, I was a single girl on my own doing my thing. I didn't want to pay rent anymore. And that's why I ended up buying a house because it was the same as what I was paying for rent. So anyways, I bought myself a house and I wanted to celebrate by getting myself my own beautiful china to serve when I hosted. And this has been tucked away for quite a long time, but I'm taking it out because I think it's just so beautiful and I need to celebrate and use this. So this is the Butterfly Meadow Collection from Lennox and it's been around for quite a long time. Um, I have a set of eight, I believe. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Set of eight and I just love them. So I'm actually gonna use this china um, to decorate for spring this year on my table too. It's just so pretty. I don't know why I don't use it more. And I even have these little candle voters. I think that's how you, what you call them. And then this beautiful candle lamp and this was tucked away with the dishes it's a boyd bear little collector piece but it's valentine's theme so i'm like i need to use her in my valentine display this year so something from childhood that i'm bringing back all right this is my sixth bag look at how full my car is i have like six bags in here and a bunch of pillows all for donation feeling very good okay I'm gonna be off to the meeting. It's Tuesday, my Monday. I'm here at work. It's a super cloudy, overcast day, and it's making me even more tired because Chris and I went to bed pretty late last night. Um, but so you know what that means. Coffee time. I got a cold brew. Oh my gosh, my hair is on this. That's gross. There we go. It's a salted cold foam cold brew double cold foam because the Starbucks by my work, by my new place, by my new office, they make some strong coffee, <laughs> which I'm not upset by, but I needed the extra cold foam, which is not really that extra. I'm going to end up spilling this, so I got to get going. Oh, the dress I'm wearing. Yep. my The signature dresses that I have, like, one, two, I think I have four colors of these dresses and I wear one of the colors probably once a week at least. Um, and I need, I really need to stop that. But it's just like such an easy, comfortable outfit for work. And it looks nice that I can't help wanting to wear it all the time, you know, when that happens. And I just have boots on with some tights as well. I'll show you in the office maybe. Um, Fuji headband because it's from Amazon. It's not real Gucci. Earrings are the ones Chris got me for Christmas from Swarovski. And then these little moons are from Lizzie. What would Lizzie do? Her joy line. This had to be documented because we're having Cuban sandwich sandwiches a la Chris again because they were so good. We just had to have them again. So yum, yum. Okay, I just wanted to show you my outfit today, but Zoe's all crazy. Look at her. She's literally on the chair right now, <laughs> trying to get to me. But this jacket's from QVC and it's so cozy. I love it. And then I have my dress and boots. 
And it's actually my mom's birthday tonight, so we're gonna take her to dinner at North Italia tonight. <laughs> what? Am I not giving you attention? Now I gotta clean the chair. Yeah. Mama's birthday. <laughs> I am making BLTs and toasting the bread in the oven right now and we actually do a little cheese too and then the bacon. Okay, Holly's gonna go to the groomer today. Look how scruffy she is right now. <laughs> okay, I'll show you after. Look how pretty my baby looks. You're so pretty, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your haircut. Good morning. It is Friday, which usually I'm really excited that it's Friday, but today's going to be a long day because I have a regular work day. Then we're doing CPR training for two hours at work. And then I do have something fun planned for this evening. I'm going to Kiana, a friend of mine. She is an amazing photographer here in Arizona. I've worked with her a few times. She did Aubrey's wedding, but she's doing these social media like um, little sessions, like photo sessions once a month on the 13th of every month. Um, it's I usually 113 for a session. You get 13 photos, 15 minutes of photo time, I think. Um, but this session, the first session she's doing for free to celebrate her starting this and the first 13 people that she signed up got to do it for free. So Aubrey and I will be going to do it for free today along with um, 11 other girls or I don't know who else. They might be guys too. Um, but we're going to be doing it at the Selfie Museum. I've never been there. So I'll try to vlog a little bit of the Selfie Museum too while I'm there. And so we'll be taking some photos it's not until this evening though so I'm kind of worried that I'm not going to be looking the best for the photos um because not like a lot of the other social media girls that are going to this event I have a full-time job <laughs> I yeah I'm a little salty about that you can clearly see that I'm sure so I'm only salty about it in stuff in situations like this like where I want to be a part of something like social media wise or like go to an event or something and I still have to work, you know, I still have to do, do my thing on my full-time job. So it gets a little hard to manage sometimes, but I think that will be fun. And okay, I need to get into work. I have my sweat, this lip sweater on and just some jeans. Um, I did bring my little heart jacket because I thought that would be really cute in photos since I wanted to do it kind of Valentine's themed. Okay. I really need to get into work. I'm procrastinating. Hold that box, press and hold it down, and it'll open up into a bigger box. That was yeah, CPR actually, time. Okay, new nails. I didn't want to go too Valentine oriented yet. So I decided to do, um, if you remember back in June, I did nails similar to these, but I did blue and green for the colors. And this time I did pink and red and I love them. They're simple, but still really cute for a little nod to Valentine's Day, even though it's not time for that yet, quite yet. But I love them. What do you guys think? Don't actually laugh. <laughs> 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 
I am so proud of myself right now because I actually went inside to get our food because I don't think you guys realize the line's all the way here, but it goes all, you can't see because of Holly's nose marks, but it goes all the way through there. It's definitely at least a 30 minute wait. And I got out of there in 10. So it's Saturday and we are off to meet Chris's cousin, Paula, right? She's your cousin? No, just making sure. Cousin on his mom's side. And I don't, I think we briefly met possibly at Bob's funeral, but this is gonna be like the first time we've really hung out or done anything with her together. And the whole family's coming too. So we're going to Mimi's Cafe, which I haven't been to a Mimi's Cafe. I can't even tell you when. So I'm actually kind of excited to try it. Look how adorable these little heart pretzels are and they're so easy to make. I already have the real, or I should already have the real up on Instagram and possibly TikTok too, but they're so cute. And with the leftover chocolate, I made a few pretzel rods as well with some Valentine sprinkles. Chris is putting together these metal shelving things that we got for a really good deal from Walmart actually, online. Nice. Sweet. So this is how we're gonna organize the garages for the new year. Okay, so don't mind the lighting situation. And I actually decided that my Valentine's tree that I was thinking about doing this year is gonna be my beauty room tree. So you'll see there's like a few ornaments still left on there and the lights are still on it. And that's the only thing that is still around. Um, you may hear Chris putting together the shelves because he's still doing that as I was editing the vlog. But I realized that there were some a few things that I've been loving this week that I wanted to share with you guys too before I end the vlog. And so I thought I would mention a few items that are new to me that I've been using for the last few weeks and really loving. So let's start with face products first. So first, I don't really change up my foundations that often um, because I don't use a ton of foundation. I usually will start off with, of course, like my SPF and primer, and then I will use something that's not too crazy full coverage um, to start for my base, like in the center of my face, and then I'll use concealer for the majority of the coverage. So this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Nourishing Foundation, um, that's usually not something I would reach for because I am more normal combo skin with, that leans oily in the summer. But I am noticing that in the winter, I like to have a little bit extra glow. And this isn't too much. It's just a really nice, natural, soft glow to the skin, um, just like your fresh faced. And it is about, I would say, a medium buildable coverage. Um, maybe still light to medium. It's not too crazy coverage, but a good amount um, and buildable for sure. I have the shade 520 Fair. And it fits me pretty well. So I'm loving this. I definitely recommend it last throughout the day. It doesn't break apart on me. Um, and it looks beautiful all day. Love it. Would definitely even repurchase it. This has actually been around, I've been using it for a while now. But it's lasted me quite a long time. And I love it. And I would definitely repurchase it. Another drugstore favorite. So this is L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh wear foundation at the at their powder foundation. I am in shade 130 true beige. And as you can see, I have hit pan. There is a little sponge underneath. Really great coverage. If you want a full coverage foundation at the drugstore, this is gonna be your jam. It is beautiful, but it's not overly powdery. I have had it all on all day, all of these products, so don't judge too much how it looks, but you can see like still looking pretty dang good. I have touched up my nose a little bit, but yep, I like to set my makeup with this just lightly with a brush, or if I want full, full coverage, I'll use a sponge. Still sticking with complexion. I have been loving the, you'll see there's more than one Charlotte Tilbury product in these like new favorites of mine because I got all of those Advent 
that beautiful advent calendar from Charlotte Tilbury I purchased last year. And I'm so glad I did because I honestly have really been loving a lot of the products that were new to me in that advent calendar. So this is the, their new liquid highlights, the beauty light wand, and it's in shade spotlight. And it is so pretty. I do have it on right now. Now I have a little bit of a highlighter under, excuse me, over it. So I'll just put a little bit on my hand but it blends out so pretty too. And it just gives the most natural finish. Love it. And it comes in different shades if that's too light for your skin tone. Um, last complexion thing again is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is so nice. It really gives like a soft, um, again, soft glow to my skin, but natural glow, not oily glow. And it's like a really nice, um, fine mist. I hate wasting this, but hopefully you can see that. It feels so nice. It has like a light scent to it, but nothing overpowering. And I do feel like it sets my makeup all day. Next, I have a mascara favorite, and this is by Charlotte Tilbury as well. It's called the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes and in super black. I have it. Now, this is a plastic bristle wand but boy does it give length and volume and it keeps my lashes now this has been hours so it's not even as intense as it usually would be i'll put a little bit more just so you can see the drama it gives but it does give some great um length and drama i love this mascara Holly can hear Chris going with the garage door. Now this lipstick is a rediscover for me from my collection. It's by Clinique. It's their um, lip pops, I think they're called. Um, Clinique Pop Lip Color, yeah. And this is in shade one, Nude Pop. It's what I have on my lips right now. I did go ahead and swatch it right there for you as well. These are just a really nice, creamy, almost balm-like lipstick that is not gonna get everywhere like it doesn't get all over your face like some of these lip balm lipsticks are just too messy and too almost too slippery this is the perfect hydration um and i love the color i forgot how much i loved this formula i actually got this formula for my mom for one of her lipsticks she wanted lipsticks for her birthday so i got her a bunch of like some of my favorites and one of them was this but in a different color all right, I think that's it that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.